Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. So it has been a little while, but we are back with Empires of the Undergrowth. I can only apologize for the amount of time it has taken me to get back into recording. If you saw my little update video on the channel, hopefully you understand. It's taken me a little bit longer than I anticipated and I've still got a lot of stuff to do. So it's still going to be quite sporadic with videos going forward, but... Here I am, there's been an update to the Empires of the Undergrowth beta that is currently running. So there was one update I missed, which I didn't do a video on, which all that really did was change the uh, change this, change the screen where you actually set up the free play. So I wanted to start from scratch with this rather than setting it all up and then bringing you guys in. So you could see this. The other excited thing that was just added, I believe, yesterday is they've added a new map. They've added a new map called Basin to the free play, where allies share a joint start in the area, but will need to clash with enemy colonies in the lower ground to get the best resources. Ooh, so that's interesting. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to do conquest because we're definitely going to use the enemy AIs. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something that you guys suggested previously, which was have one... If we make leaf cutters our friendly ones, how do you make them friendly? Like that. There we go. Uh, friendly colonies versus two other colonies. The, our friendly colony will leave on underhanded. And the other colonies will do black ants and wood ants. Oh, they do not have any options. That's why. Haha, <laughs> I got confused. So we'll put those on the same team. And we'll make those... We won't make them crazy hard. But we'll just try putting them both on cheater and see what that does. Environmental difficulty. Uh, will affect how soon they can attack your colony, the size of the groups, types of creatures allowed. Interesting. Environmental creatures map appropriate. That's a wonderful, wonderful option. A lot of people have asked for that sort of thing. That's great. Randomized caverns. Underground open areas that can be tunneled into are randomized, including the food they hold and the enemies that lurk within. Does that mean your nests? Or does that mean different areas? I don't, I'm going to leave that there. That's great. What's this? Top and bottom of the map routes are blocked by a barrier that can be destroyed. We'll leave that off for now, just because we haven't seen the map. Does that stay there? Well, it does stay there with all of the maps. So it's not just something specific to Basin. Interesting. Uh, the leaf cutters, what have they got? The taunt or the stun, and they've got the mortar or the rapid fire. I mean, mortars are definitely better. Do I want to give them the better one? Let's leave them with the better one. That'd be fine. And then let's click through these. So that's the same thing we just saw. We'll leave upkeep disabled. Or enabled, I should say. Just because someone said that uh, <clears throat> in the previous version of, of the uh, the beta, disabling the upkeep, upkeep kind of broke the enemy colony or the other AI colony. So we'll leave that as it is. Leave that as it is. Uber creatures will leave off for now. Attacking waves. Disables enemy fight. We don't want to do that. Ramp is fine. We'll leave it on medium. Because we've already set the difficulty of the AI colonies, right? The AI colonies. That, that's the difficulties we need to worry about so much. Uh, victory conditions we've done. Basin, da da da. Day, night, morning. Create. No, we don't want creative. Well, that's interesting as well. So change that as well. Well, that's new with the randomized caverns. Um, map appropriate creatures. Oh, they actually split it into different different biomes now. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Big fan of that. And then landmarks, we have them all. We'll leave infestation off. There were a few conflicting responses to what infestation was in a free play on some of the earlier videos. But, but most people said that infestation means there will be uh, small areas where there are large groups of singular creatures, essentially. So let's hit start game. Let's see this new map. I'll give it a name. Where's the name? Oh, there it is. Um, let's call it Basin 1, shall we? Because we're imaginative like that. So I haven't played, I can't remember the last time I actually recorded Empires of the Undergrowth. It's been a little while though. We're talking about two, three weeks. I'll see if I can sneakily look up my phone while it's loading if it doesn't take. Oh, it's already there. Too late. Okay, right. But it's been a while, so I'm a little concerned that I don't actually, oh my word. It will grow to become a sprawling underground is this the, city. Is this the cavern option where it's made this like a proper underground area? Which does mean I can't really do my proper little, um... Extended route to the to the nest entrance. That's a perfectly sized cavern there, isn't it? So I could do this. Let's do that. And then let's immediately start getting some more workers down here in this wonderfully initially placed cavern. Oh, 
Oh, can we see our, our friendly colony straight away? Oh, we can. Oh, my word. Look what they start off with. And they're on the underhanded difficulty. Imagine what they're going to start off with on the uh, on the higher difficulties, which the enemy colonies have. Right, let's get that opened up straight away. Let's see, how, see where we are. Uh, this is going to be... So we'll do... Oh, my word. Let's do that. Let's start getting that done. We can fit another one in here, can we? Oh, not quite. If we move it one over... No, we're not going to fit a full-size one. We can fit a seven in there, though. Here is the map. So here is us. Oh, it's very rainforest-heavy, this map, isn't it? Not much around for us to get, is there? Those flowers down there are the closest thing, but we need to get past that crickle. There's a couple of aphids down there if they survive any length of time. So let's... We've got some food, we've got a little bit of food. Let's get some more of those down. Let's get that, that group over there. And let's get them outside, trying to get down to these aphids then, I guess. Because there is nothing else nearby, is there? The jumping spider over there that's going to concern us ever so slightly. And those crickets, they're not too big of an issue because they'd have to come from over there. Oh, there's a big old fish down there. We like the fish. We like the fish. Oh, the greens are already down there, though. Where have they come from? All the way over there. They've really, yeah, they are. Really expand this. Is, oh, there's so much food down there. Oh, my, look how many of that. This is going to be quite difficult, I think, isn't it? There's really not very much for us to actually get started with at all. It's going to be really challenging, I think. So if we go down there, we're dead, pretty much. Dead. Deaded. Food stores are full. Let's put another one of those down. Let's... Let's dig this out to make a little food store over here. I don't can't go that too much in this direction because of the uh, enemies that are there. Well, let's do that for now. And then when we start getting some more food in. Oh, yeah, no, let's expand it. Let's expand it, get it ready. Then we'll uh, start getting some actual melees down, shall we? Oh, there's that other cricket. I was just trying to figure out if they'd killed him as well, but he's down there still. I don't know if my uh, few workers are going to be able to deal with him. Oh my word, there's so much. Well, the leaf cutters are starting to go down there now, though. They're going to go for that big boy over there, I guess. How are we doing for food? We've got a little bit of food. Let's start getting some, some of those down. We'll probably start expanding on these as well quite soon. Let's just start thinking about where we're going to put other stuff so we can get another group there. Oh, it's going to be awkward. Not going to be able to get many uh, many 19s in. There's all this space over here, I suppose we'll have to try and work on that. Maybe when night comes, we'll start working on the internal nest structure. So let's move those back, move those over there. I can't see that cricket anymore. But saying that, they're not gathering all the aphid food in any sort of rapid amount of time are they so we're not probably in a rush to go heading down to the core of the basement uh, basin quite yet not the basement and this is where the leaf cutters are really going to help out so if they can start just holding off the greens so we can get a chance to get some food it's quite a tight little map isn't it so yellow entrance is down there look our entrance is just there that's really tight Right, get another one of those down. I might turn this into the, uh, the ranged units and not worry about doing a group because we can't do a 19 there anyway because of that piece of solid wall. So I think we'll do that, yeah. That makes sense to me. So in fact, let's start getting one or two of those down as well. 
they've just about started to clear that out now. So maybe we'll start saying to them, head down here and let's see what happens. Almost got enough food for our second. Yep, there it is. Perfect. So annoyingly, they seem to be taking the food they're gathering to the Queen's food storage rather than to this food storage. You would hope that they would go to the closest one first, but maybe they prioritise the Queen because of her importance. Like, there's so many of them. There are so many of them. Those leaf cutters had better be doing pretty well. Well, they're not doing bad, are they? Not doing bad at all. So we've got three of each of those now. Well, we need to actually put those in the group, I suppose. That would help, wouldn't it? And then not tell them. Ah, see? Cricket's back, and I don't know if we've quite got... Oh, I don't know if we had an actual full group would probably be okay. And I think we're going to find out anyway, because that cricket's coming this way. So let's see if we can get a few uh, a few grouped up before the cricket starts moving again. So Shumi's going to come up here. Oh, now there are two of them. Now there are two of them. Back off, back off, back off. Now there are three of them. Okay. Head over there. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. Let's see if we can take out this cricket then. Yeah, that was easy enough, actually. That was easy enough. Maybe we will give these guys a go. I love the music. Love the music. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So the little cricket's not going to be too much of a problem for us. That's good to know. So all of that food's already gone. Let's see if we can get some of these aphid juices. And then we'll head down there again. So we've got a little bit of food again, so we'll get a melee in. And we'll see what this opens up. One of the suitably sized nest, isn't it? Apart from the fact that it'll open up that when we uh, go in there, but that's good. We'll start something off of there. And we can't expand that one. So that would be the next one, but again, expanding it's going to open up that area, which would be a bit of a pain. Food stores are full, so let's get an ant down, and then let's expand on our food store. Don't really want them having to walk across the food store, because I assume that will slow them down. So I think what we'll do, yeah, it definitely would go across there, is we'll dig out this bit instead. And we've got this area down here as well we could use as well. If we can upgrade a few of those just to give us a little bit extra Workers have done all breathing room. These food stores. So there's another cricket coming. Oh, but that's not too bad because we've got a friendly uh, leaf cutter that's come along. So if we join in with the leaf cutter, that's interesting that the cricket immediately reprioritized his targeting to go for the weaker of the ants that were attacking him. Interesting indeed. Oh, we've got loads of food. Loads of food. All right. There's still some more food down there. Don't you dilly-dally. That's about it that's there. So then we need to start heading down here, I think, towards these other aphid nests. This is the problem though, isn't it? These enemy colonies, they're so large to start with, they can just hoover up all of the food. And once the food's gone, it's gone, right? So maybe what we'll do actually 
is once we've got these seven down, we'll get these workers built up next, just to try and get some numbers, to try and gather food a bit faster. Because our enemy, our, our friendly AI colony can help us. They can help defend us as we're down there. So if we rely on them helping us, and we focus on just trying to gather as much of this food as we can, maybe that's going to be the better option to start with. Oh, this guy come to help us out, look. Decided to attack the cricket rather than us. It's interesting. So both of those are both sevens now, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so let's... Let's do that then. I think that makes sense to me. And yes, it's a little annoying they have to cross this chamber because that'll slow them down to get around to here, but is what it is. So I could have brought the uh, route down here instead, but then, you know, then you sort of cut off those two areas. And so, no, I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy. It's not ideal, but it'll do. Not ideal, but it'll do. And we get some speed tiles as well, particularly on this route here. That'll help things out as well. And then these extra 12 workers, I think, will really help us with a bit of the food gathering. We're getting dangerously close to this massive green army. Who are just really capitalizing on these two massive fish here. I wish the leaf cutters would go and do something about that. <laughs> In fact, I might actually start going, telling them to go towards this fish. Because the aphids will uh, slowly recover. Whereas the fish won't. That's uh, Once it's gone, it's gone sort of situation, isn't it? So maybe we'll do that. And then we'll get some majors in here next, I think. And maybe let's dig out this chamber as well, and just see if it opens up this. I don't think it will. Let's get our first major down. Yeah, so they destroyed that green army. Look, that was there. Well, I say that, there's still a few of them around. There's a lot more coming back. Oh my word, there's a lot coming. And those three fish there have been pretty much decimated at this point. Which means we are currently in control of the biggest food source down here. Say in control, that's a bit of a strong word, isn't it? Add the major to the group. Let's go back in here and make another major. Another two, in fact. Another three, in fact. Because the food is coming in thick and fast now. And we really need to start thinking about going into some of these other areas as well. That's not right, is it? Be another one on top. But we could fit that in there. So I might leave that there, so I know. So I remember, we'll be fighting over here. It's already dead, whatever it is. Good. Lots of food again, so let's get some more mages down. But we've almost... What have we got a single... What have we got a single black ant? Oh, because I made that there. Are oh, you pillock? You pillock. Right, that's our seven majors done, ready to roll. Perfect. So let's get some of these speed tiles down. Just help speed everything up along there a little bit. I'm not too worried about the rest of the areas for the moment. 
Oh, they are trying to get our fish as well, are they? That's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. Because there's a lot of them. Are the leaf cutters anywhere nearby? They're not really, unfortunately. So it looks like they will destroy us. Oh, I don't know if we can get through those melees. There's a lot hidden in there, but if we can start getting on the uh, the range, guys, are you starting to get food now rather than you are? Yes. Okay, so I think what we'll do in the short term here is we'll start digging into some of these other areas. I'm not expecting much to be in there. We can start getting rid of those. And where else do we have any nearby? There's some over there. Some, all the food stores are full. We'll have to start upgrading some stuff, then, won't we? The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. And then we'll open up this as well. So I think we should have enough to deal with anything that's in there, really. You'd have thought. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But this one's going to be... Oh, I don't know. I'm a bit sceptical about this, but we're going to do it anyway. Because that's how crazy we are. Ooh, that's actually quite tough. That's actually quite tough. Let's see how this goes. We haven't got much choice in the matter. We sort of have to do it. Unfortunately, they have to walk so far back to get the food down there. Food stores are full. And what I might do is I might turn their food gathering off for the moment. And then we'll get a few upgrades in. Yeah, it's not too bad at all, is it? Once they actually focus their energies. So we'll start digging out this as well. Once some workers can get through, of course. There's a lot of food down here. There's a lot of food. Oh, that's actually not too bad. They're not that tough. And they're going to be cornered. So they're not going to have a chance to drop their legs and run away. So if we can keep them in this chamber, I'd say we'd be pretty good to go. And we are losing the opportunity to gather anything outside while we're doing this, but there's so much in here. It's actually, I don't think it's that bad of an idea. At least in the short term, if we can clear out maybe like just this bit here as well, maybe we'll leave it there. So we want to leave some stuff for when there's nothing else outside, but this will be a good little opportunity for us, I think, just to get a bit of a, a head start, not having to worry about everyone outside. So let's get rid of those. Let's upgrade a bunch more of those. I'm trying to upgrade these to a full level three is going to be interesting. We're going to have to try and what, surround it with speed tiles, I guess, aren't we? Let's turn their food gathering back on. I think well, that's enough for that for now. Let's head back down here. Let's focus on the aphids rather than trying to go for the fish at the moment. And let's make a small group of workers here. And they will act as our, uh, our gather group for the inside the nest food sources that are all around now. As there's so much food there. Food stores are full again. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Let's get this one opened up. We can also start building down here, can't we? It's a long way for them to bring the eggs, which is a bit of a pain, actually. So maybe we won't do that. Maybe I've immediately changed my mind on that.
And I think we'll do another group of range, because we've got the got two groups of uh, melee attackers, don't we? So let's do that. And those there as well. So that's another full 19 we could do. So let's get that opened up. And we could also dig a little um, little passage next to it. Oh, could I? Well, I don't know if I could now, actually. Not really. That's not, that's okay, that's fine. We're fine with that, that's okay. Uh, should we get some more, I think I might go for more majors. Yeah, there's such a healthy food supply coming in. Let's get some more majors. Right, how are we doing down here? Actually, oh, nope, don't do that. Actually struggling a little bit to find enough food to even gather. Saying that, food stores are immediately full, of course. There's not that much food down here now, is there? It's only really the sort of replenishing food stores of the seeds and everything. Yep, that fish is gone. So we don't want to head up there because that's going to get us into a fight with those guys. In fact, that fight is already coming, look, unfortunately. Food stores are full. Let's make some more food stores. That should help out that just a wee bit. So let's get our one level three major going, and we've also got enough food actually to get another major down. So we're gonna need to do something with these guys. It's a bit empty up here. Let's maybe see if we can go get some of this stuff. There's only a few little ants around. Oh, that's just disappeared. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's that fish gone. Let's finish off this fish as well. We shall be the fish exterminator colony. Fives are done. Oh, they're not done down there at all. Take it back. The workers have done all they can to improve these food. A little bit of upgrade there. In fact, I may as well. The workers have done all they can. Upgrade the speed tiles as well. Oh, I could actually increase the size of that there, couldn't I? How are we doing down here? There's a massive spider's web just appeared right in the middle. Though. That's a bit of a pain, isn't it? So they're really focusing on just those replenishing seeds there for their, uh, their food. So what have you got down here? Oh, you've got a massive fish. How do we get there? Only by going around all that route. Oh, that is... Sneaky lucky for you guys. How do we get down there? Uh, 
down there. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll try telling them to do that then, because there's a couple of big creatures down there as well. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. Never even noticed that was there. Right, so we are full of food store again. So let's, that means we've got a lot of food. That means we've got a lot of food. So let's dig this out, ready to increase that at some point. The fives are done there. So let's start heading them up here. Oh, that food's probably started disappearing actually, hasn't it, unfortunately. We just start thinking about where we're gonna go next. We can expand this group. So let's expand them. It fortunately takes out this wall there, but I can live with that. If we can get a full group of 19 level three uh, majors and... Yeah, they are ranged. Then I think we'll be in a pretty good standing. That's wonderful. Thoroughly enjoyed that. So it's a bit of a walk down here, but I'm okay with that. Send the fives back to where they should be. And let's start working on these majors now. So I think once we've got a few more of these built, then we'll consider starting going and uh, taking out some of the enemy colonies, I think. They're really focused on using this as a food supply, which is actually a terrible, terrible food supply. What have we got down here? A few seeds, a few creatures. Every time. Right, fives, no, go back up there. There is a lot of food down here, only little piddly bits, but there's a lot of food. I'm surprised those guys are just focusing only on those, those seeds and aphids there rather than spreading their wings a bit. That's what I might do if we uh, tell everyone to go down there. Maybe we'll start splitting some of these out a little bit. Food stores are nearly full again, of course. So I don't really mind if they find things to attack down here, because we should be able to take pretty much everything out. It's not 111, is it? That's a lie. It's a misleading lie. The leaf cutters are struggling for food as well, aren't they? At least their food regenerates, though. That's something. Send the twos over there. The ones, let's start sending up to the, Oh, no, I don't really want it to take them that route, but... Thought that nice little hundred food was too nice to ignore. Maybe not. So some of the workers are going too close to this spider's nest, so let's actually take out that spider. Or those spiders, I should say. I know they will replenish fairly quickly, but right now they're just picking off everyone that goes near, which we can't really have. Oh, that's annoying. So there's a giant fish down there, but it's been taken out by the uh, annoying little enemy colony that's down there. That's a massive shame. Does that mean there's a massive fish up there as well? Nope. What about up here? What have we got? Not much. Not much at all is the answer to that. 
Well, let's go see if we can get anything from that fish. More importantly, there's 200 food right there. Look, oh, my food stores are full though. Darn, should be paying attention. I saw it pop up as well and I immediately forgot about it. Start upgrading those ranged guys. Wait for that fish to be done with. Start sending the twos down there. Now the leaf cutters are taking care of those spiders, which makes this a bit more viable at the moment, doesn't it? Are they still just hanging around here? Because they've got those seeds. They're just using that. So they are going to be getting food, but it's not going to be very much at all. Which means all this down here is just right for the picking. It's 34 food, but that should be gone with those eight that are currently harvesting it. That won't last all that long, will it? Well, if they keep getting distracted by these annoying little ants coming out of here, I wonder if that'll stop them from harvesting it at all. It actually might, they might just be stuck in a loop there. Let's keep an eye on that. Send the twos there, because that's a nice chunk of a hundred food. The workers have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Not yet they haven't. Not yet they haven't. So if we control all of this lower basin, that puts us in a much better position. than the other two teams. We obviously had a massive head start on us, but their food supplies now are basically nothing. So they're relying on that and any enemies that happen to just wander close by. So I'm feeling pretty good about this at the moment. Feeling pretty good about this. There's another 100 food over there. Let's send the twos over there. food. Got close, we ran out of food before we did all of them, but it's not far off at all now, is it? What we could probably do with, actually, is getting another group of workers. So we have these guys who aren't currently doing anything, aren't they? So let's add them to that, uh, that nest group to help with any eggs, the egg situation. Lots of enemies down here all of a sudden. The two still haven't actually made it up there. They must be just getting constantly distracted by all the enemies and other food they have to cross to get there. There's a lot of ants around. I'm glad I didn't uh, disable upkeep because there's already a lot of ants around. So food stores are filling up a bit more. Now I reckon the yellows are the weaker of the colonies. I reckon, where are they? Oh, those are the greens. I suppose they are on, a, on the same team, aren't they? So that's the thing, if I head, or did they just not come down here because it was, oh, there's another plant over there they are also harvesting, okay. So if I come up here, if there are greens coming down there, and as soon as you attack this colony, the greens are going to help them out because they're on the same team, aren't they? That could be a bit of a problem. It would essentially be a 2v2 war the second you start doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we say we don't care and we just go 1-2. And let's see what happens, right? 
Uh, turn, turn their food gather off for the moment. And in theory, as soon as we start attacking that nest, we should have all of the leaf cutters joining us. Yep, that's me. An allied colony is attacking another colony. Yes, we are. We do actually have a, bit, a fair bit of food still coming in from previous escapades. So let's just do one upgrade to make sure we have some space there. Here come the leaf cutters to help out. Where are our... up there. So to, if you keep an eye on that, that'll tell you sort of how, many, how much you're done. It's hard to tell in the chaos that erupts within uh, these massive bundles. So the leaf cutters are on their way, are they? Or are they just gathering leaves? No, because their food gatherer is left on when they attack. Their food gathering is left on when they attack. So although they are trying to come and help, they are actually not going to make it because they have to get past all of these food sources to get here. So actually, that's worked out really badly for us. Really, really badly for us. But their queen is right there. She is not really defended at all, is she? Now we should have a bunch of level... Th did we upgrade our range to level threes? We did most of them, yes. So those level three mortars, if they get down there, should be doing quite a lot to help wipe out... Oh, the queen's already dead. Queen's already dead. Wonderful. So let's take out the rest of these workers and then this nest will slowly start to uh, disintegrate and then turn it into a lovely food source for us. Excellent, one queen down, one to go. And they're still gathering food, look. The little fools, the little fools. You see it's already starting to break down, look. And that's, that's interesting, I've not seen that before, but I can't dig in here, can I? No, that's a bit of a shame. It would also, I think, be nice to know how many they actually had in terms of numbers. I think they're all gone. So what we'll do is we'll take the ones out. Oh, they're not all gone. Oh, that's the greens attacking us because we attacked their enemy. But not many of them. They must have just been dragged in. So I think we will leave the ones, uh, sorry, the twos in here gathering food. And the ones can just head back down here and just do their do their aphid thing, you know. Just do what they do. And now we'll start thinking about those greens. Again, the problem with the leaf cutters. Are they attacking the greens? They wouldn't do that without me, would they? They might have a better route. They might go along there to get to the greens. And if they do, they might actually be able to help us out with the attack. In fact, they are doing a fair bit of attacking of the greens as is, so I might just go and have a go and see what happens. We are pretty tough. Annoyingly, they're all taking food back. And I've got no ranged guys down here at all, which is a much bigger concern right now. So I don't think I'm going to do very well there. So what I might do is just tell them all to howl, hold back over here. Because that's definitely not going to work. Definitely not going to work. I need to get everyone back who's currently dropping off food. That's what I need to happen. So in fact, let's turn off their food gathering again. Food stores are full. But everyone's on their way back out now, aren't they? So let's just say, go for it. Let's pop into our nest and do a single upgrade just to give us a bit of wiggle room with the food. Oh, and they're attacking. That's not us, is it? So the, the leaf cutters are going to attack 
the greens. So they say, I mean, it does look like the greens are sending out all of their stuff to, uh, to attack. Let's just see if we can sneak into their nests. Now the greens are retreating now, so I wonder if the, uh, the yellows are sort of given up essentially. Food stores, oh they're not full anymore so I'm not too bothered about that. So we're going to take out sort of their uh, vanguard. The leaf cutters are going to continue just to gather leaves and not really help out very much at all. And we are going to smash into their nest. Head straight for their queen, who again is quite, uh, quite available. And that's just where these, again, these level three mortars. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky majors. Look at you go. Uh, so they've got no food. Yeah, those are their only food stores and they're completely empty, look. Ours are somehow full, despite the fact that both of those are non-gather, which is interesting. So they have a bunch ready to hatch. So all of these are going to come into play as soon as we kill... Oh, look at that, that's interesting. As soon as we kill the, uh, the ants. Well, they're not, though, because they know they need, like, five food to hatch, don't they? So they're not going to come into play. So we just have won this, won this. Yeah, look at that. Job done. Job done. Queen dead. Boom, sunshine. Boom, this sunshine. Has grown in number and strength, taking its rightful place as the ultimate power in this... Rightful place. That's exactly how I would describe it. Look at that beautiful queen. Victory for Formica Raptor. So I'm just going to hit play more just so we can... Uh, I just want to take a bit more of a look at their nest, really. So they really did have, like, a complete blank slate. Like, it's all perfectly sized hexagonal chambers, isn't it? Whereas my nest is a bit more higgledy-piggledy, depending on where the uh, stuff inside the nest was. Well, there we go then. So we could spend a bit of time gathering all the food from the enemy nest, but I don't think that's particularly necessary. But that is the new basin map in free play. Very exciting, very exciting. What I wondered was when I saw there was a new map, I did wonder if the new map was going to be um, sort of the precursor to the fire ants that are coming. And I wondered if it's going to be very sort of islands and then a lot of bridges you could build with the fire ants. I wondered if it's maybe just sort of setting that. But that means there is probably going to be another free play map, which will benefit the uh, the fire ant colony so that's going to be exciting to see how they're going to balance that because the leaf cutters you stick some plants around on the level so the leaf cutters can gather them and then it's still a multi-colony viable map but if you're trying to have a multiple uh, it'd have to be like a fire ant only wouldn't it really you wouldn't have much option in it yeah anyway cool well, uh, again, just a massive apology for the huge delay between videos. As I said, there is probably going to be quite sporadic going forward uh, for at least another week or so. But when I saw there was an update to Empires, I couldn't not, not do it, could I? I had to play it. Had to see the new map. Had to get in there quick. But yes, it's going to be a little bit sporadic going forward, uh, unfortunately, still. But I will try to get back onto it as soon as I can. One of the things I am going to be doing is I'm going to be moving my PC. As you're all aware, I had a baby not too long ago. She's now almost seven months old. My plan was to put the baby to sleep in her little nursery and then go into my room and record. That just has not worked out ever at any point. And I don't think I'm ever really going to be in a position where I can sit up here and record in my uh, computer room, music room, office type space. So what I'm going to be doing over the next week, on top of everything else, is moving my PC workstation down into the dining room. So when my wonderful little baby does go to sleep in the evenings, I can actually still record because I will be in the opposite side of the house to her and down a flight of stairs, where hopefully I won't be as disturbing to her. At least in terms of making noise, I'm disturbing in many other ways, I'm sure. So that's the plan. So hopefully, hopefully very soon, I'll be able to get back to a lot more of a standard structure and output. And maybe even, maybe even get back into streaming. But there are no guarantees with that. So, you know, but fingers crossed, maybe that's going to happen. 
So aside from that, we'll see how Empires goes next time. What my plan was for the next Empires video was to do the, um... Is it the Tug of War map? The one where you can unlock the uh, the other AI colony that you can use or use as an enemy? So that's what I'm going to do next. going to beat that again so I can unlock that colony. I'm sure it's the Tug of War, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure you guys will let me know if I'm wrong anyway. So that's probably what we'll do next time, unless I take so long to record again that Slug Disco release another update for Empires. But assuming that isn't the case... <laughs> then yes, it will be, uh, that's, that's my plan for next time. But let me know if you have any other ideas for future videos. Always interested to see. Massive apologies again. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do click the like button. Always appreciated. Comment, subscribe, all those good things. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.